Hello everyone, welcome back to Coder and Boots. So today we are going to discuss about a small topic uh, which is about how to monitor Nginx server. So uh, this example or this topic whatever I am discussing right now is going to help you only if your deployment is in the public uh, domain. So that means the Nginx server is accessible from the public network. So I'm not sure whether this Amplify works on the private network. So on the private network, there are some other solutions. So, but here I mean, we are going to discuss about uh, an online monitoring system, which is uh, available or which needs the Nginx to be accessible from the internet. Okay, so this is free to some limit, but beyond that you will need to pay for that. So, uh, but you can try your, if your installation is a simple one, uh, which may be like I mean less than five uh, I mean Nginx servers or, or if it is just one deployment so this solution will help you okay so this Amplify is a software provided by Nginx itself so uh, you can sign up uh, for free from uh, the Amplify website so which is Amplify amplify.nginx.com so this is the URL so once you sign up you will get you can create an account like this and you can add the agents okay so I think I mean the free limit is five but you can request the team and get a license for this and uh, monitor up to any number of uh, Nginx so I think I mean see here if you see in the limits there is a section here in the limits so here you can see the max limit is five which is allowed uh, with my free account so if you want anything if you want to increase so there is like I mean we can raise request to the fi.com support team okay I'm, I'm right now with my free account okay so here what I have done is I have my Nginx server here so I will install I'll have to install an agent in in the Nginx server so what will happen is from that agent the amplify agent will take care of collecting the stats and sending it to uh, this central server so this agent is a small piece of uh, we can say a process which is going to run uh, in our uh, web server and this central console that you see here which is a publicly hosted one so which is uh, on the internet and this collects the data from our our uh, uh, from our, our our web server okay so I what I have done is I have installed the agent okay so this is how I installed I downloaded the agent installation script okay and after that like I mean there was a license key to activate the agent so I did both and with that the agent is alive that's why you, that's what you can see here uh, on on the web UI you can see on the left hand side uh, there's a live agent it takes few minutes to activate and once uh, it after a few minutes you will see a green color green means it's online okay suppose that they are asking us to do some steps so let's do it together so uh, let's see how it, how it works okay so how user friendly it is so what I'm going to do is they're asking me to get inside this directory I am inside the CD Nginx now they're asking me to check okay whether the files inside the conv.d are automatically included as per the default configuration yes because it's uh, we are doing a grep okay of whether I mean this particular include slash tab dot conf is there in the nginx conf file so it's there okay now what it's saying is uh, it's we are creating a tab status conf file okay so then it's asking us to paste some content okay and after that it's asking, telling us to do control D we will paste this content then control D I'm pressing okay so I pressed now let's see uh, cat conf dot D stats conf okay you see now we have created a small virtual host okay so which listens on this basically the local address local host and uh, it has an endpoint slash nginx status and step status on allow from this one deny from everywhere basically this is a uh, locally listening a virtual host and I think I mean what it will do is internally the uh, amplify agent will make calls to this to get the status of this particular installation okay we have done that now um, okay we have we have already checked it now what we'll do is we'll restart this engine okay so we is waste nginx hyphen t let's verify the configuration first hyphen t restart let's restart nginx 
okay so we don't really need to restart we can even uh, reload okay so now it you can see in the on the screen it's showing amplify agent metric collection in progress so it's waiting for the agent to detect the step status from the server and collect the logs so this amplify agent can be used for monitoring not just uh, uh, nginx it can be used for monitoring uh, php status mysql status basically the lamp uh, stack or wam stack it can it can monitor lamp so let's wait let's give few minutes to for the amplify agent to collect the metrics when i initially installed the agent uh, it took few minutes for uh, for it to detect the uh, the agent so now okay so it's asking us to uh, set access log format should include an extended set of variable okay so what does what might have happened is i have customized my nginx log format okay so right now it is a json format so what i'll do is i'll just leave it to the default format okay so i'll comment this and i'll then let me hit this site a few times okay okay so now we have some logs okay now let's open the amplify gate so it already started collecting the stats from the system like cpu usage load network traffic memory disk usage disk io cpu io disk latency disk io swap all these stats it started collecting i think i mean the nginx because maybe because of the log format it was not able to read i think i mean now you see it's able to read let's make some request to the nginx so after changing the log format it is able to read the nginx logs yeah you see i made a request it started showing up here okay let's make it multiple times okay so now the requests are showing so if you see there is one active connection so i think i mean there is a small delay so it will take some couple of seconds to show the hits here now let's refresh this page yeah okay so it's showing up the request at 21 23 there was one hit and now you see this nginx file descriptors memory usage disk io traffic see this is the traffic disk buffer request time so yeah now it st started showing all the requests i made a couple of requests in this time period that's why it showed all the request yeah yeah so using this we can monitor and once we add more nginx uh, deployments it will come up over here so it is picking up the default host name so i think i mean we can change the names so what we can do is here first tag we can do is we can add a name alias we can give my website okay it allows only alphanumeric characters okay that doesn't allow dots so i just put something okay now you see it's with the name my website okay so you can give a friendly name also here and here it allows us to basically pull like i mean up to four hours one day two day so looks like i mean it is a nice one and also we, there is an option to create custom dashboard if you want you can add new graph okay so we can select a metric okay and then 
my website okay yeah okay so we can create custom dashboards of our choice instead of just viewing like i'm in the default ones which is available over there and the overview it shows like i'm in health score total request 500 errors how many errors okay cp usage okay traffic request time so it shows all the stats so whatever is required for us to analyze this web server it's doing a very good job so it's showing like i mean the host details okay any security advisories ssl related things virtual server this this shows the number of virtual host everything okay so alerts also i think yeah we can configure alerts here so i think i mean based on rules so here if you see okay so it's basically a rule so a particular metric okay is above a particular value then over the past 10 minutes this duration then uh, basically like i mean send alert to specific uh, email address so this is a very nice feature okay so we can send email alerts so in this way we can configure we can monitor our web server in a very nice way and easy way so it's a very very cool software i hope this helps so this will be helpful for people who manage websites uh, like their blogs everything so any outages or any issues with their web server they will be able to monitor uh, without even checking this you can configure the alerts so that it will come as notifications to your email address i hope this is helpful thank you thank you very much